Hello. In this video, I want to take my film that's been exposed by my camera, and I'm going to put it into a processing tank so that I can process the film through the developing process. The first thing I want to do is make sure that I've pressed this little button on the bottom of the camera so that I can safely rewind the film. This little button releases the advanced side of the camera so that it, the film can be turned backwards. So make sure that little button is pressed in. It, it'll click in all the way once it's pressed in. And then I can rewind this film in the direction of the arrow on the rewind knob. And I'm just rewinding this. And I'll feel it get really, really loose. When it gets loose, then it's safe, safe to open the back of the camera. And then I can remove the film. If I'm not going to uh, develop this right away, then I would want to put some tape around it with my name on it. And I've saved my tape from when I took the photos so it's already labeled. And I can put that around and store that in a safe place until it's ready for developing. But I'm going to prepare that right now. I've got a, what's called a processing tank, a film processing tank. And I'm going to open this lid <clears throat> and show you what's inside. Inside this tank is a long post with film reels on it that we can wind the film up in. And we're going to put the film on the reel, on the bottom reel of the post. And then this next reel goes on. You could develop two rolls at once if you have two working reels in your tank. We're just going to do one roll of film for the first time. And we're going to put that in a tank, in the tank. And then this lid's going to thread on top of the tank. So this allows us to pour chemicals into the tank. And those chemicals will go down through the center post and flow up around our film when it's inside the tank. This is going to allow us to add chemicals to the film without exposing the film to light. Now, the trick is we have to get our film from this canister into this tank without exposing it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to use some practice film. So I've got some film that's already been exposed, and that way we can practice handling the film out in the light because eventually we're going to have to do this in the dark. And we're going to take a reel and make sure that the reel that we're adding the film on has two ball bearings. You can see there's two little ball bearings right inside here. This particular reel does not have any ball bearings, and so the film won't guide automatically into that reel. I want to make sure that I have both ball bearings inside that reel. And then the way this works is if I take my flat end of the film, Remember, that's taped onto your little post when you loaded the film in the film canister. So this, we will peel that tape off and we'll have this flat cut edge. We can feed that into the reel, like so. And this will wind up, the ball bearings grab the film and it'll wind up the film into the reel. And then this can be assembled on the post with the empty reel on top so that it doesn't float in the chemicals. And this will go down in the tank with the lid on it. So we want to practice doing that with our eyes closed. And you, when you want to take this apart, you hold the reel in your left hand, turn the right side of the reel away from you, and this will come apart. And then you look for these two notches. There's one there, and there's one notch there. And these notches line up with each other so that it fits together and it'll snap back in place. And you can see this is designed with a curve in this, so I can feel that curve, and I can feel that there's a flat edge on this side. That's where I'm gonna feed the film in. So I can feel that, I can do this by feel, and I can feel where my film is gonna feed into the reel. So I will be able to do that eventually with a little bit of practice. I can do that without looking, and I can load that on there and put this all together. And I need to be able to do that without looking because with my actual film, I'm going to do that in a bag. And I'm gonna use what's called a changing bag. A changing bag looks kind of like a shirt. It's got two sleeve holes for my arms to go in, but 
the bottom has a zipper. And actually it has two zippers, one on the outside and one on the inside. So I'm going to unzipper this and I'm going to put all of my parts, my reels, my post, the lid to my tank and the tank itself. And I'm going to put my film inside the bag. And then I'm going to zipper this up. I'm zippering up the inside bag. And then I'm zippering up the outside bag. So that double zipper and that flap of cloth will make sure that no light can get into my film. Then I put my arms in the sleeves. And I'm going to find locate my film inside this bag. So I, I laid my film in here. So I'm going to find the parts. I've got there's my post and there's my roll of film. There's the lid and here's the tank. setting things in order that I'm going to use them. And then I'm going to take my film and I'm going to pop the end of the film off the canister and twist the film out. You'll have to twist it a little bit because it expands inside the canister. Then I'm going to unwind the film. I'm just holding the edges of the film. I don't want to touch the surface where my photos are. And then I'm going to peel the tape off the end. If you remember, we taped the film onto the center post of the canister in a previous video. And now we're just going to peel that tape off. And I'm going to set that center post back in the corner of my bag out of the way. I don't want that to get interfered with uh, loading the film. Now I'm finding the reel, and hopefully I have the ones with the ball bearings. I'll know right away if I don't. This will grab, nope, there's no ball bearings there. So I'm going to set that reel away and get the other reel. I can tell because the film won't grab if there aren't any ball bearings. Now I found the flat side of the reel, and I'm loading the film in. Here I can feel the ball bearings grab, and I'm going to wind the film onto the reel until it goes past my fingers and it's on the reel completely. Then I'm gonna take the post and put the reel on the post. So it's sitting on the bottom of the post. And then I take the empty reel and set that on top. And I'm gonna put that inside the tank and put the lid on the tank. Now I can open this up because my film is safe inside the processing tank, so light can't get to it. Remember, this film is sensitive to all light, so any light that touches the film is going to expose the film. I've got my canister parts. You can see the tape that I peeled off the end of the film, and I can put that back together for someone else to use. So this is ready for another roll of film. Peel the tape off, and we'll put that together and that can be loaded up with more film later. These are reusable canisters. So we're gonna put that away in the drawer for someone else to load more film on. I'm gonna fold up my changing bag and put that back in the drawer where it belongs. Now, my film is inside this processing tank on the bottom reel on that center post. So we can pour chemicals in and if we pour the right volume of chemicals in, it'll completely cover the film and we can go through the film processing technique. So you'll see that in another lesson. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Make sure you practice with the practice film before you use your actual roll of film. Good luck and we'll see you next time.